गुड इवनिंग सो कंग्रेचुलेशंस मिस्टर अभिषेक यादव थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच सर ऑल इंडिया सेकंड रैंक इन इंजीनियरिंग सर्विस एग्जाम 2022 विद सिविल इंजीनियरिंग स्पेशलाइजेशन थैंक यू सर आई एम प्राउड टू से दैट यू हैव टेकन आवर क्लासरूम कोचिंग इन दिल्ली यस सर अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट ये रूटीन test series interview guidance program everything you have under that yes sir briefly about uh, yourself apart from my introduction about yourself uh, sir i have done my schooling from jawanadev vidyalaya varanasi and after that uh, i joined iit vhu for btech and mtech in civil engineering hmm. and after that i started preparing for esc and gate simultaneously Okay. and uh, i cleared esc in, in 2019 uh, but i was in reserve list i i got allotted i was allotted bro so mm-hmm. i couldn't join mm-hmm. and thereafter i joined um, uh, multiple organizations like npcil uh, indian oil and then i worked in isro as a scientist and then currently i am working in drdo as a scientist uh, from 2 years okay drdo which place i am posted at new delhi sir new delhi okay yes yeah. so briefly uh, what is your preparation strategy for prelims exam with respect to general studies first of all uh sir for general studies i would say uh, it is a bit tricky part and uh, uh, three or four subjects we have to select uh, that are the core subjects uh, uh, and in those subjects we have to score and we can also score uh, for example it uh, be it uh, maths be it reasoning aptitude and uh, the materials part the project management part especially for civil engineering it is easy so these four to five subjects and environment also sir so these four to five subjects we have to select uh, in which we can uh, surely score and other apart from that four to five subjects are bit ambiguous so we have to uh, keep practicing more and more uh, for those ambiguous parts uh, in that way we can score uh, more in uh, gs part sir okay so how many hours do you used to prepare for this uh, general studies and aptitude uh, so mainly for general studies uh, means uh, every year i have studied but uh, more i have done practice and practice in in two or three months it can be covered if we uh, if we go in a slow pace okay. and if we study everything in uh, those topics so what about uh, the technical paper in the prelims exam uh so for technical papers i would say concepts are very important and uh, practice is uh, very much important sir i am i am continuously saying that practice is always a, a super beneficial part uh, as far as exams are concerned so for second part nowadays all, nowadays uh, uh, the pattern is uh, very easy questions are being asked and uh, mm-hmm. so the score is going the score is almost touching 200 210 so you have to be uh, uh means fast also and accurate also at the same time in the technical part have you followed any any elimination techniques because 150 questions solving in a span of 3 hours it's yes, not sir. a cake walk yes sir so what is your strategy while uh, glancing through question number 1 to 150 what is your strategy? uh sir uh in objective papers i have always followed uh, one thing that uh, i solve it in two or three goes so in mm-hmm. first go i will be solving only theoretical portions and the questions which we just see and we can answer it so mm-hmm. in the first go i will attempt that questions and uh, will not be stuck in numerical power, numerical type of questions mm-hmm. in second go i will i will attempt all the numerical questions also and the uh, the questions which i find that it can be solved in 1 to 2 minutes 3 minutes like that so and also sir we have to do some guess work because uh, it is not going to happen that in every question you are certain that this option is correct or this option is correct so you have to uh, play smart uh, in many questions so you have to eliminate one or two options and then go for 50% probability so uh, these type of uh, approaches you will get only after practice uh, means practicing the test series very good so first you covered theory type yes. questions then you have moved to uh, yes sir numerical questions yes, very sir, good. Yes. so what about uh, your preparation prelims and mains parallelly or after prelims you have switched over to mains uh, sir i have always uh, considered mains as a mains examination okay. uh, because uh, in in those in those questions uh, of 20 marks you 
seven to eight concepts are covered in uh, in a single questions mm. and uh, it can cover uh, seven to eight questions of uh, prelims so if you if you practice more of for mains examination you automatically i think 70 to 80% of concept part and solving part will be covered of uh, prelims after mm. that you just have to practice objective questions and you just have to practice uh, how to attempt 150 questions in 3 uh, hours so you have to maintain the speed so for that only you have to practice uh, for prelims other mm. than that concepts are covered in mains examination only so about the conventional questions writing yes. in the question come answer booklet qcab yes, yes so what is your strategy in the mains exam uh sir in that uh, i always focus on because uh, nowadays the space is restricted so you have to write in only those spaces so uh you have to means uh, more practice uh, more practice to, to write in uh, confined spaces and that only comes through practice only sir in uh, you have to uh, means uh, go for mains test series and uh, in the me- in the meanwhile you have to maintain the speed also and selection of questions uh, should be also very good so in the qcap booklet uh, only only through practice only you can uh, means manage the manage those spaces okay very good so after mains over what was your preparation strategy for interview guidance interview uh, how you yes, place sir. the personality in there uh, sir i i would say uh, the name personality test is uh, is given to that by some meaning only so they test your personality very much there and uh, you have to prepare your def thoroughly uh, the place where you belong the if you have any job experience you have to prepare for that and uh, if you have if you are in job suppose in my case so you have to prepare for that why you want to leave your job and uh, since i am in a very prestigious organization so uh, many questions will arise that why you want to switch the jobs so these type of questions you have to thoroughly prepare and that also comes with uh, mock interviews only and the hesitation and the fluency all that you, uh, you will get through by the mock interviews only so you have to prepare like that okay mr abhishek yadav how our uh, classroom coaching helped you in the preparation yes. of your exam uh, so classroom coaching very good and i would like to thank uh, some uh, some some of the subjects are uh means uh, the clarity of concept which i got from the uh, from uh, th- this uh, classroom coaching that was phenomenal uh, i would like to thank some steely structures uh, our uh, teacher was very good means mm. excellent i would say mm. and uh, in hydrology also i got uh, means very because these these were the subjects which were the gray areas i would say and uh, which i was always uh, means a bit shaky in that in those areas that uh, mm-hmm. i have to attempt or not so these concepts uh, were very much strongly uh, cleared in the classroom very nice abhishek yadav okay what are your parents uh, sir my father is currently principal in kendri vidyalaya uh, he is posted in odisha and my mother is housewife okay so what is your message to your juniors who are aspiring for uh, next uh, next year engineering science exam Uh, sir i have always been in support of uh, more practice and uh, once you clear your concepts the best way to revi- revise is only practice and practice mm. so and after that uh, when you practice the test uh, you will find that in some portions i am i am lagging or uh, whatever so only you revise those those portions and revise more uh, those portions which you find a bit difficult to solve in the papers so practice is my main focus mantra Uh, for all the aspirants have you prepared any micro notes or short notes uh, so short notes i would say are very important i have always prepared two type of short notes one mm-hmm. one short notes i prepare uh, for th- theory like things means i will keep some uh, sh- uh, short theories and concepts in that and other short notes i would uh, i i would like to means i used to prepare uh, for uh, formulas only because there are a uh, numerous uh, number huge number of formulas are there in civil engineering so you have to remember all that so always key, uh, uh, means maintain the, those short notes and keep revising those what is the role of uh, mock tests or modal tests because you might have written yes uh, sir yes. number of tests with is yes sir yes sir, number so, of tests uh, what, what is your advice how to write the test series any yes, learning from tests yes uh sir so mock tests play a very vital role in uh, for preparing and 
not only you just go for practice after that when you come home i would advise that you solve all the eight questions or all the i means uh, all the 150 questions if you are going for prelims and uh, uh, keep a means make a note out of that that this this uh, this 10 to 20 concepts i lagged in the paper or i couldn't solve so uh, keep a note of that and practice more questions on those concepts which could you which you couldn't solve so in these ways uh, the mock tests prepare a very much vital role abhishek ji congratulations once again thank okay. you sir thank Pranams you to your parents thank, thank you. you thank you all best, the best. god bless you i was feeling blessed sir, to talk to you thank, thank you sir. Bye, sir. Thank, thank you, you. Thank you. Thank you.